Welcome to the world of Gmaw, MIG, welding. Discover how to join metal pieces using this awesome method. It's like a high-tech glue gun, but for metal. Learn the basics, safety tips, and steps to create strong, shiny welds. Ready to spark your interest in welding? Let's go! One, gather your tools and safety gear. Before you start welding, you need to collect some tools and safety gear. Here's what you need. Welding machine. This is the most important tool. It controls the electricity and feeds the welding wire. Welding wire. This thin wire melts to join the metal pieces. Gas cylinder. It holds the shielding gas, usually a mix of argon and carbon dioxide. Welding helmet. Protects your eyes and face from bright light and sparks. Welding gloves. Keep your hands safe from heat and sparks. Welding jacket. Made of flame-resistant material to protect your body. Wire brush, used to clean the metal before welding. Two, prepare the metal begin by thoroughly cleaning the metal surface to remove any dirt, rust, paint or grease, which can weaken your weld. Use a wire brush to scrub away loose particles and a grinder for a smoother finish. If the metal is greasy or oily, Apply a solvent or degreaser with a cloth until the surface is clean. After cleaning, you might notice a thin layer of oxide or contaminants, especially on metals like aluminium and stainless steel. This layer needs to be removed. For aluminium, use a stainless steel wire brush, and for stainless steel, use a dedicated wire brush or grinder. Next, fit and align the metal pieces properly. Measure and cut the metal to the required size then use clamps to hold the pieces in place, ensuring they are correctly aligned and tightly clamped to prevent movement during welding. For thicker pieces of metal, preheating might be required. Use a propane torch to heat the metal evenly, checking the temperature with a thermometer to ensure it reaches the recommended preheating temperature for your specific type of metal. Three, set up your welding machine. Your welding machine has several settings you need to adjust. Voltage, controls how much heat is used. Higher voltage means more heat. Wire feed speed, controls how fast the wire comes out of the machine. Faster speeds for thicker metals and slower speeds for thinner metals. Gas flow. Make sure the gas is flowing at the right rate. This helps protect the weld from the air. Look at the machine's guide for the correct settings based on the type and thickness of your metal. Four, attach the ground clamp. The ground clamp connects the metal to the welding machine. This creates a complete electrical circuit, which is necessary for welding. Attach the clamp to a clean, bare part of the metal. 5. Position the welding gun. Hold the welding gun like you're holding a pencil. The nozzle should be about half an inch above the metal. Point the gun at the spot where you want to start welding. 6. Start welding, press the trigger on the welding gun to start the flow of electricity, gas and wire. Move the gun slowly and steadily along the seam where the two pieces of metal meet. Try to keep the gun at a consistent angle and distance from the metal. 7. Create a weld bead. As you move the welding gun, the melted wire will form a weld bead. The bead is the line of metal that joins the two pieces together. Move too fast and the bead will be thin and weak. Move too slow and the bead will be thick and could pile up. Practice to find the right speed. A. 
8. Adjust your technique. There are two main techniques for moving the welding gun. Push technique. Push the gun away from you as you weld. This gives a wide and smooth bead. Pull technique. Pull the gun towards you. This gives a narrower and deeper bead. Try both techniques and see which one works best for you. 9. Check your weld after welding. Let the metal cool down. Then, inspect your weld. A good weld looks smooth and even, with no gaps or holes. If your weld isn't perfect, don't worry. Practice makes perfect. 10. Clean up. When you're done welding, clean your work area. Use a wire brush to remove any slag, which is the hard residue left from welding. Turn off your welding machine and gas cylinder. Store your tools and safety gear in a safe place. Safety tips for welding. Always wear your welding helmet, gloves and jacket. Make sure your work area is well ventilated. Keep a fire extinguisher nearby in case of sparks. Never touch the metal right after welding. It's very hot. Fun facts about welding. Did you know welding can even be done underwater? It's called underwater welding. Some robots can weld too. They are used in factories to make cars and other machines. Welding has been around for thousands of years. Even ancient Egyptians used a form of welding to make tools and jewelry. Why learn welding? Welding is a super useful skill. It's used to build and fix many things like cars, bridges and airplanes. Plus, it's really fun and creative. You can make art sculptures, furniture and more. Practice makes perfect. Don't be discouraged if your first few welds aren't perfect. Welding takes practice and patience. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Try welding different types of metals and using different techniques to improve your skills. Experiment with different metals. Start with simple metals, like steel. As you get better, try welding. Other metals like aluminum and stainless steel. Each metal has its own challenges and requires different settings on your welding machine. Learn from others. Watch videos, read books, and ask experienced welders for tips. Joining a welding class or club can also be a great way to learn. You can share ideas and get feedback on your welding projects. Welding in the GMAW MIG process is a fun and rewarding activity. With the right tools, safety gear, and practice, you can create strong and beautiful welds. Remember to always stay safe and keep experimenting. Happy welding!